Jofer out here with the Super Control. I'm going to show you today the easiest and most effective way to set up a PS16 on a job site. So today we're going to use the autopilot function. If you look around the job site, you'll see I've placed 4x4 posts with MPR-122 prism. So, what the instrument is going to do upon level up, I'm going to hit auto setup. It's going to scan the environment, shoot the target, and calculate a resection. So let's get it. Okay, upon startup with a TS-16, I have it set to first give me a level screen. So as you can see, it's showing you which knobs need to be turned. I have the face plate aligned with two screws. It's telling me to just turn that screw just a little bit, a little bit more. That's good enough. I'll hit next. Temperature and pressure, next. And I'm going to show you the autopilot setup. I have imported my control points into the total station. I'm going to hit auto setup, name the station, say OK. You don't need to put a height, detect prisms automatically using power search, say OK. So it's going to do its thing, search. It found an MPR-122 prism, which I shot with a zero rod height on top of 4x4 four four posts. I'll say apply same height, hit measure, automatically searching for the next prism, acquired, took the shot, acquired the third target, automatically aiming and shooting. I know that's all the targets. So at this point, it shows me setup results. I can go page over to quality, within two hundredths, northern easting, height is pretty awesome. We're just doing dirt work, so I'll hit set. Say okay. So I'm ready to pass to the dozer, so I hit machine control, and that's it. Okay, so I just showed you how to do an autopilot setup. I want to show you one more way to set up, which is really easy, quick, and relatively inexpensive with targets. So I've placed around my job site this checkerboard target, which I'll show you a picture of here. That way I can pick up the instrument, go anywhere, shoot my target, do a resection, and then pass it to the machine. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I've leveled up my instrument like last time. Except for this time, instead of auto setup, I'm going to hit setup. I'm going to do a resection. Again, give it a point ID for this particular spot. I'm going to say OK. But this time, instead of an auto deal, I'm going to say measure target one. I'm going to aim manually at my known checkerboard targets. If I go to my 3D viewer, I, look, I can look around. I know the point that I'm looking for because it's written on the wall. So I'll say 1006, OK. Now I'm going to sight in and hit measure. Notice I'm set to reflectorless. You can change that by going here and hitting, uh, instead of measure prism, it would say measure any surface. Okay, target height zero because I shot it with a zero height. So let me go ahead and do this. Okay, so I've shot in two points, ready to shoot in a third. So I know that I want to see 1004. So if I, sat, if I tap that and hit OK, it's automatically going to turn to that point. So 
so now I can look through the scope and see if it's actually looking at my point. Tighten it up a little bit. And hit store. Because it's taking continuous shots. So at this particular point, I can hit calculate. And if I go to my quality page, it shows I'm within 0 .01, 0 .01, and 0 .02. So I, that's very good for dirt work. So I'll hit set. Again, I'm ready to go straight to machine control, get my dozer, and get to work. So that's a very quick, fast, efficient way to set up. Not uncommon to just setting up a laser. Level up, shoot your targets, set, and go. All right, guys, after your total station is set up, you hit machine control, you hop in your dozer, and hit grade. First thing you want to do is track over to a control point, which is on ground level, not sticking up. Notice we are not locked. So first we need to do a search. We're doing a power search right now. The instrument is turning. Scanning the environment, looking for our prism. It's acquired it. It says locked down on the bottom left. Back out. So right now I'm sitting on a control point. First thing you want to do is check your elevation. I know this elevation is actually 30.1 Four. So what I'll do is go to Tools, Blade Settings, and type in the elevation of this known benchmark. What I'll do is hit Calibrate. And back out. And now my elevation is 30.14. So now I can get to work. Okay, so we've benched in. I'm ready to get to work now. The first thing I need to do is arm my left and right side to where it's yellow. This is like a safety on a gun. Now we can use our IGC controls. This is a John Deere 650K, awesome machine for machine control. This is your offset up, offset down, and the auto button is right in front of it. When you engage auto, it goes red. Notice how the auto went red. Hit your same button on your IGC joystick and it disengages auto. Notice on the bottom right your vertical offset going up. That's just me using the joystick. Okay. So if I tap the screen, hit 2D. Now we're in 3D mode. I can use this for visualization purposes. The triangle is your hydraulic control point. Wherever it is, it'll hold your elevation and slope for that particular spot. The crosshair is used for illustration and for elevation. So if my crosshair is on the right side, it's giving me the elevation of the right side of the blade. Whereas if it's on the left side, it's giving me the elevation on the left side of the blade. And it also is helpful for guidance. So if I want to follow the left side of the blade, I might want to have my crosshair on the left side of the blade. If I wanted to follow the right side of the blade, well, I just moved it over and now I can nicely follow the right side of the blade. You can change your view. If you just want a strict plan view. If you just want a section view, this is very useful for levees and stuff like that. Um, generally, I like the overview because I like to see where I'm going and I also like to see a, a section view. You have your actual percent of slope on the blade and the target percent of slope. Okay. Once you're ready to engage automatic, start moving forward and use your IGC joystick to engage auto. First thing I'm going to do is dial in my offset to where I'm cutting a manageable amount. I'm just keeping an eye up on top to where it's saying cut. I think it can handle that. 
So I would engage automatics and start moving forward. Make that cut. After you do that, lower your offset again to whatever you can cut and make that pass. This particular job, we want an offset of half a foot. So I'll keep going, making passes up until my vertical offset reaches minus 0.5, right there. Okay guys, that's how it works.